Hey guys, it's Jason here. Welcome to another episode of the Oak Mountain ACOTS. Well, we're back in the woods today and we're going to do our first winter cut for hardwood. Now this hardwood is going to be next season's firewood and uh, like everybody else, we like to get into the woods in the winter time when everything is frozen up and there's not a lot of snow and start getting this wood on the ground. So I came in yesterday and you can see that uh, I ribboned off a bunch of trees. We're going to thin this uh, stand of hardwood out. We're going for the inferior trees. We're going to get a lot of beech, maple and a little bit of ash out of this stand and we're going to leave the best like we always do. Stick around. So what we've got here guys is uh, about 50 trees ribboned off. Some of them are small, 4 inches in diameter. Others in there are up to 8 and 10 inches in diameter. So I'm going to use an average of 6 inches in diameter and I looked at my chart and 50 trees is about 2 cords of firewood. So it's going to be interesting to see if this ranks up to about 2 cords of firewood when we're all finished. Now we're going to bring this out in semi tree length and we're just going to store it that way in the yard over winter. But we're going to be ready to run it through the Hacky Pilke Raven 33 firewood processor in the spring. Alright, let's knock some of these trees on the ground. Okay guys, so you can see when I was back in here doing my ribboning, you guys know that we do maple syrup and we're trying to set the wood lot up so that we have a lot of nice maple trees in the future that we can tap for the sap. And so this is a good example of what we're trying to do. Right here we have three young maple trees and uh, I'm looking to space the trees out ultimately probably 20 and 25 feet apart. But until they get big with a big canopy, we can't uh, thin them out that, that harshly, I guess, or at that distance right now. So what I'm doing is I'm gonna take the center tree between these two. That's gonna give these ones a little more light. It's gonna give them a little more uh, water and nutrients from the soil. And then we're gonna see down the road which one of these two trees that I leave will be the dominant tree that stays here. So we'll be back in here doing more thinning in the future. Anyway, that's the method to my madness, so we'll see how it works out.
So this is one of those trees, guys. Everything that could go wrong is going wrong with it. It was up against another nice tree. I knew it was leaning back. I tried to cut it and drop it this way with wedges. No dice, didn't work. So now I'm hooking up the winch on the Cranman log trailer and I'm gonna see if I can pull it a little bit to make it fall. Uh, what's going on is there's a limb up here that's holding us up in this other tree. Um, I don't like to pull on trees this big, especially when they're hung up with my little Cranman trailer. I don't want to damage it. So I'm going to try it. If it doesn't come, then I'm going to have to go get the 414 with the farming winch on it. Let's see how we do. Okay guys, so we're gonna call it a day in the woods. We don't have a full load on the Cranman hydraulic timber trailer. Maybe uh, a little over a half a load. It's the first time that I've been back into the wood lot with the tractor in the winter. Um, I don't want to damage it on the way out. Trails aren't froze in yet. So uh, I think we're gonna load light and go often, as they say, and uh, get this back out to the house and unload it. We had a bit of a, a hitch in the woods today with that snag caught up in the other tree. I'm gonna see if I can get the International 414 started and bring it back and, and jerk that out of that tree.
Okay guys, so the 414 made short work of pulling down that tree. I bet a lot of you guys are wondering why I just don't bring this in to work in the woods, but uh, this tractor starts hard in the winter time. The new B2601 Kubota is a diesel. It's got glow plugs and it starts up uh, really easy. And uh, this is only a two wheel drive. So uh, I had difficulties just getting back in here um, as it was to pull this down. So uh, we only use this when we absolutely have to. Okay guys, so this tree probably would have made a full load on the Cranman hydraulic timber trailer, but uh, we had to get the 414 going and get it in here to get it on the ground, so this will be the start of another load on another day. Uh, anyway, it was a good uh, first day in the woods, winter cutting hardwood. Um, I'll say that we got a half a cord on the ground, which was pretty nice. We've got all the trails uh, in where we need to be now, and they're going to freeze down hard, so that's going to be better the second time we come in and uh, the weather is really working with us it's beautiful in here so hopefully we get more days like this anyway guys that's going to wrap up this video but like we always say if you like our videos and you want to see more of them hit that like button hit the subscribe button share our videos with your friends and family and help us grow our channel and come on back and check on us often because you never know what the oak mountain acots are going to be up to next we'll see you in the next one guys